happy Thursday morning. Today's my off day, so I'm like, I'll just do everything on Thursday. Denise is showing up what we have for breakfast. Do it again, do it again, do it again. We have oven baked eggs. They look, uh, they look pretty stinking delicious. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. There wasn't much that happened last week. Uh, Sunday, did choich, ran lights, and uh, had a meeting after the church. Janice and I have kind of kicked around the idea for a while of hosting like a life group for our house. Life group is like a small group Bible study. So kind of like a Sunday school class that takes place not on Sunday and at someone's house. Or and, could be on Sunday. Or could be on a Sunday. This is true. But we were pretty active in one that was nearby. And then they got married and she moved. And now there's not really anything from our church for people that live in our area. We're like, we can fix that. So we've been kind of kicking around the thoughts on that. Only they would like for us to have a male counterpart that helps do it with us. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> Fair point. So I guess prayers for some guy near here that wouldn't mind having a an enriching Bible reading community close to home or for us in our home. So we went to a leadership meeting about that and I kind of explained what that looks like and what it entails and what to expect. And then I went to another meeting after that that was just a retouching of, it was everyone who went on the Guatemala trip getting back together again to talk about things they experienced on the trip, um, things that we could be expected to experience coming back home, which included but was not limited to irritability, frustration, exhaustion, fatigue, depression. Even listening to it, I was like, oh, oh, that makes sense. Oh, okay. And I know that like when I talked to mom, because Janice and I were butting heads a little, she's like, yeah, that normally happens after you get back. You're normally more irritable and have like zero patience. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> But we were told that it would be awesome if we could do a trip again next year to the same place where we would do VBS at the same school with the same children and touch base again with families that we met. Janice and I had been like, we know we want to do a missions trip next year, but we were thinking about doing one together and somewhere new that we'd never been before. But after hearing that, kind of like, it'd be really dumb not to go back and help cultivate relationships that I've already made. Like if I really am called to love these people like loving them would be looking forward like I would love to go back and see them but I think that also includes not going somewhere else like South Africa which I would love to go to our South Africa place I've heard the guy speak that runs the whole uh, thing that we would be working with down there he spoke at a Kairos service and like brought everybody to tears he's filled with Jesus and I would love for the chance to get to go and meet him but I feel like if it's between getting the chance to go and meet him or going to back to Guatemala, uh, it's probably going to be Guatemala, especially if I can talk someone into going with me. So if any of you would like to go on a three hour flight to somewhere and be totally immersed in a culture that needs you, let me know because I would love to show you Guatemala. But yeah, mostly that's been work and sleep. Although, since Janissa has a really late start today, and since I was off today, we did decide to do some shenanigans last night, and we went to HQ for bingo. Alas, once again, I did not win the $200. Not that anybody will believe me from the first time, because it was never captured on film. But I will say, all of HQ was really cool, so they're celebrating the 80th birthday of the Wizard of Oz. It's like a Wizard of Oz pop-up that they put inside the bar, so I have some of the decorations here. <laughs> Behind us in one area, they had... Well, all right. Yeah, Mercury, your boys are here. You better watch them. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Just gonna wait while they go. Thank you for that brief uh, break. We ate brunch. It was delicious. Janice's baked eggs turned out amazing. All right, so we were talking about bingo, uh, and they decorated everything for Wizard of Oz. Here's a photo. It was a no place like home theme, and they even did a really cute thing. They had a dog adoption. They will have it on Sunday. Oh, it's this Sunday. It's a there's no place like home humane shelter dog adoption thing where they will bring in dogs to be adopted, which is adorable. Keep but then <laughs> Janissa had a bingo. Uh, but you have to go up while they verify it, and if you don't have a bingo, then horrible things happen. But this was Janissa up there. 
everybody say hi, Janisa. Janisa, how confident do you feel about this bingo you just handed me? Pretty good. Let's That's a good thing because you did indeed get a bingo. Congratulations. Not only is Sean going to hook you up with some Aqua Blue swag, but you'll also get that shot of Warwell Gin to give to any stranger in the audience you choose. Somebody with a dumb... Uh, so she did not give it to me because it had to be a stranger. And even though she knows nobody's stranger, she ended up giving it to, uh... So, let me rewind. When you Uber somewhere, <laughs> you already know it's you're getting into strangers' cars. Um, so you have an app. You say where you're at, where you want to go, and then you can choose the kind of ride that you want. Um, so there's like Uber XL, which is like in a bigger vehicle, or there's like Uber Premium, which is in fancy vehicles like limos or convertibles or whatever. One of these days, one of these days we'll treat ourselves. There's also a new one they have called Uber Rideshare, where you can opt, you can only do it with a maximum of two people, but you get in a ride with somebody else that's also going near where you're going. And it helps the Uber driver make more money, and it helps save gas on trips that are going back and forth and back and forth. And it helps save money for you because then it doesn't cost as much money to go to the place. And so she went to do it, and it's like, there's a ride share going to the same location near you. Do you want to do it? And we're like, yeah, because then it's like no extra time for us. It's already going there. So anyway, we met this guy, David, right? I don't know. Janice and I were talking the entire time in the back seat, and he was just silent in the front seat. And then when we got out, he was like, oh, you know, that was really interesting what you guys were talking about. And of course, she and I were like, why don't you speak up? <laughs> you, you can add to the conversation. <laughs> but um, he was there to meet with his buddies. She actually took her shot to him, which was funny. And while front row had excellent seats, um, some would even call it the splash zone, and uh, you definitely got to see everything that went down, which was nice. But uh, he was definitely always watching. And so like, if he pulled the Pac-Man ball where he says Pac-Man, and then you have to do this like immediately, or if he says twerk and you have to be out of your seat and twerking well, by the way, then like it's... You're front and center and you screw up. That's exactly right. Because, <laughs> I mean, he's lazy too. He's not going to walk all the way to the back to get people. <laughs> So whoever catches his eye and you're right in the eye. Yeah. I think it's kind of hard for him to see out of his mask anyway. So uh, it was fun, but I don't think I'd recommend sitting in the front row again unless we had um, other poor unsuspecting souls to take with us and hide behind. You hey, you want to come visit? Maybe they can be sporty individuals. But sporting individuals. <laughs> I've got to do my day off stuff today, like laundry and cook a meal for some people that I went to Guatemala with. I invited them over for dinner. What are we making? I don't know, but I'll figure it out when I'm in the grocery store. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys had a great week. I hope that you guys have a great week, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.